Hey there, board gamers, Justin here, Painting today, boom, got another unboxing for you guys. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. If you are new here, please alpha strike that like and subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for having my six. I appreciate you having my back. Thank you for being an awesome lance mate, star mate, whatever the case may be for you. Thank you for being here to support what I do. That said, we're going to get into this unboxing today. This is the last of the Nova 2023 Grinder Box Minis that was sent to me. And this stuff is from Lex. Um, Ratner, I think his last name is. And um, he has sent over some mechs for the Grinder Box 2. And we're going to go ahead and check out what he has sent today. Uh, bottom of the box is a little beat up. Um, so I was struggling to follow the track. The pilot card for him, which I did the little video for this the other day, is this one. So we have Lex Esquire, or not, yeah, did I, get, did I say Ratner? I feel like I said right, but there's Lex Ratner. So very cool. I think it's a pretty neat uh, concept for what we're trying to do here. And uh, yeah, so let's get in to see what minis he sent over for us. Get that popped open. And see if we can't get some of these bad boys pulled out here. I feel like he has um, overpacked them. Oh, right. I remember, I remember, I remember. He has the box. The box of minis. He sent me a picture of this. A little ASMR. He is way overpacked this. Hang on. <laughs> and there we go. Got him out of the box. So now we got the little mech bros from uh, Mr. Ratner here. Let's go ahead and pop these open. Uh, he also saran wrapped these in here. My God, he has packed these to the gills to make sure they made it in one piece. My goodness. How do you even get that in the box? Hey guys, now I think he's just, he was just trolling. He was just trolling to watch me struggle to get that open on the channel here. That's funny. So uh, here is the, uh, where's the box? This is the Inner Sphere Direct Fire Lance that he has sent over for the Nova Grinder box. And he even signed the bottom, which is also pretty neat. It also appears to be that he, he's got resin 3D printed bases, I think. FDM printed bases. That's what it looks like. We'll see when we get to see the texture on the, the actual bases when we get there. Let's just get these bad boys opened. Hilarious. Okay. Uh, if I can get this open. Uh, there we go. Saran wrap off. Now we can check out the Mech Bros in the box. So uh, let's start with the Crusader here. Get a little zoom in on this bad boy. Let's see. Do I got a paint handle here? Pop them into paint handle so we can actually let's check out the base real quick. Um, Yeah, so this, I think this is probably FDM. I feel like I'm seeing some little bit of layer lines here. So I think this is FDM printed base. So there we go. Got the Crusader. Uh, I don't remember which faction he said these were going to be, uh, but I dig it. I know he was trying, I think, the Slap Chop method on it, so something new for him to give a shot. So I dig him. I like the purple with the blue. These might make for a pretty good proxy for House Merrick, maybe. I know Merrick's more purple, but we got a little splash of purple. It could probably fit, maybe. Uh, which would be pretty cool because I've got quite a few Merrick minis in the Nova Grinder box. So having um, some more uh, good stand-ins for those would be good. So we have some good stuff for the YouTube channel. Uh, so I dig the base. That was pretty cool that he got some custom basing going on. That's uh, uh, definitely interesting. And the Crusader's growing on me. It's growing on me. He's got a very, uh, wait, oh, he's got a symbol on here. He's got a decal. Let's see, YouTube land. Can we identify this decal? I'm not sure what that was. Hmm. He'll probably tell me. I don't have a note. He might have told me on Instagram, but I don't remember. I don't remember. But very cool. I dig the color scheme. I dig the use of the decals. And that's very cool. I just don't know what faction that is. Super neat. Let's go ahead and switch over from the Crusader here. And we will check out the Atlas. The Atlas. All right, so he has um, for sure done a um, antenna here, which got kind of 
bent a little. I'll push that back forward. So it uh, looks like we've got a little, um, um, I think that's plastic uh, antenna there that he added, which is a nice little touch. Sorry if it's unfocusing there. And um, there is the symbol he used. Um, uh, is that the summer something or other? Um, something, oh, I feel like it's summer or something, summer somethings. Um, if my internet was working more quickly, I might be able to bring this up on the uh, the computer screen here and um, check out the factions. The summer something strikers. Um, let me let me see if I can't find that real quick. Um, summer set strikers. Let's see what the icon is for them. Nope, it's not that. Um, hmm. Huh, I'm not sure what they are. I know he's, um, I know I've seen that icon before. Um, huh. Hmm. Someone on YouTube might be able to tell me. I cannot remember what that is. I feel like I saw it. Maybe some like type of Merck company. That is really going to bug me. Um, like super gonna bug me, um, not being able to know, um, what this faction's name is, um, we'll take a quick peek real quick on the internet once more and just see if I don't see it, um, oh no, that's definitely not it, hmm, this is not helpful at all over here on the website that I have picked up. Um, hmm. it's not that, no, yep, and none of those, um, none of those guys, none of those factions I was just like at or clicking, so I'm not sure which one this is, so my apologies, still very cool, I dig it, I really like the, uh, the purple here, nice free hand on the lines, very cool. Definitely a different paint scheme in general as to what I'm used to, because um, we've got a lot more colors going on. we got the blue, the purple, we got some yellow, um, which probably in purple here in the decal, so it probably makes sense for the um, the faction, if I can figure out which one it is. It's going to bug me. I'll probably get off of here when I'm done with this video and start looking, um, but I definitely like it. Atlas is one of my, um, I don't want to say favorites, but it's definitely a mech that's near and dear to my heart, because it's so iconic to Battletech. It's like... It is to the inner sphere what I think the Mad Cat is to clans. Like everyone, everyone recognizes the Atlas, yeah? That looks like a DOD decal to you. I can't remember. Uh, I also appreciate that we got the um, uh, the rear lasers on the Atlas. It's a nice touch. Nice touch. Let's go ahead and switch over here. We're going to grab um, my uh, favorite from the box. And it is the Orion. Um, and it's my favorite because I like the Orion mech. I think it's really neat. We've got the custom basing going on here. Um, got a little bit of glow in here in the barrels. Very nice. Got the pretty cool looking uh, jeweling on the cockpit here. Got some decals going on. That faction, which again, I, I know I've seen it. I know I saw it on a dice puck. I feel like it was a dice puck. I think. It was one of the new... Oh, it's going to bug me. <laughs> um, let's try one more thing. Um, um, let's see... Let's go to Fortress, and let's just type in, uh, I think it's Lost Tech is the name of the dice. And let's see if I can't find the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, uh, Centauri Lancers. Yeah, I think this is Centauri Lancers. Um, I think that's what that is. Actually, matter of fact, I'm almost 100% because the icon on the shoulders looks like the dice book. I knew I'd seen that before. And the colors are blue and purple. I'm pretty sure that's Centauri Lancers. <laughs> Dang it, I'm not crazy. I knew it. Um, but yeah, so this is my favorite one in the box because uh, I think the Orion is a really cool looking mech. It's got some asymmetrical aspects to it that I just find super interesting. Um, like the hunchback where he's got like the hunch. This guy got the little left shoulder with lots of rockets in it. The interesting different arms and whatnot. It's just a really cool looking mech and the asymmetry does it for me and I really like it. So that is the Orion from the Centauri Lancers now that I got the name right. Last but not least from the box, we have the Marauder 2. 
and this is um, uh, Lex's personal ride. This is the mech that he is piloting as the legendary mech warrior. Got a little antenna here, nice little touch. Got our jeweling, very cool. I dig the cannon, it looks very nice. Got our uh, teal or bluish color and our yellow for the lasers. Got our cool looking facing, and again, I'm pretty sure it's FD imprinted because I, I feel like I've seen this at this point. Um, they look very familiar. I'm going to try and get decals for the bases, but some of these might be harder to, to get the um, um, the names on, but I want to put names on all the named pilots. That is my goal. So, but yeah, I dig it. That almost, almost thought that was a magnet for a minute. That silver almost looked like a magnet. Very cool. I dig it. I think this is a pretty colorful paint scheme uh, compared to some of the stuff we've got. Like, nothing that I had is bad necessarily, but this is a very interesting um, departure from the normal. Uh, I've not seen this before uh, as a faction I'm not familiar with, so very cool, very unique. And because he sent a lance for the um, uh, after Nova type stuff, playing um, matches of um, Alpha Strike aces and things like that, I could pull in a lance of mercs. Um, as Centauri Lancers into um, into fights, which I think is super cool. And we've got another set of mechs for the grinder box, and that is going to cap us out here. I think my my um, my foam box or my foam transport is almost completely full, and Lex here was the last person to get something sent in. He was the final straggler, and this is what he sent. Um, as we uh, start to transition towards the sign-off today, I do want to grab his card and talk about it for a moment because uh, the card is here, uh, or was here before his um, his minis arrived, so I was able to have them. Um, as a recap, before we get to his mini again, he painted up the Centauri Lancers, and we've got the Crusader. Pew, 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 pew. We have got the ever-iconic Atlas, dum, 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 as he stomps forward into battle. We have got the Orion. A mech that was so cool, Kerensky himself rode one out of system when he left the homeworld of Terra, right? And then the Marauder 2, which is Lex's ride. So this is the Marauder 2 uh, 4K variant is what he's rocking. This is his pilot. He's got one TMM6 jump. He's a sniper at skill 3, 4, 5, 5 for damage. Got uh, 15 life, sniper ability, sharpshooter ability, and float like a butterfly. And then as we flip over here, we have got a list of the abilities that he is rocking. Shoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you enjoyed this and you're curious about seeing these in person, make sure you swing by the, um, the Battletech room at Nova Open this year. And it will be running the um, Alpha Strike tournament there. And we will also have open play, learn to play, um, the grinder sessions that people can come in and play during. And we will also allow people to just, again, I guess I said open play already, but we'll allow people to use the tables anytime that the tournament is not running. So before uh, and after on the days that we are there. So uh, that said, uh, Lex, thank you for painting these up. This is awesome. If you guys want to support what I do, check the description down below. Check out Fortress Miniatures and Games. we got coupons and links to all the things if you want to support what I do. And if you want to be a super supporter, please consider checking out Patreon. That's all I got for you today, folks. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. As always, keep painting your models, keep rolling your dice, and I will catch you guys next time.